December 25th, 2021. From our Wicked Parlay Studios in the middle of nowhere, a Wicked Parlay Special with your host, Justin Annabel. You know, one of the things that's most important about some stories is, some stories have a realm of truth, while some stories have a realm of just absolute misery. This next story has to do with what would be best described as a gang of carolers. That's right, a mischievous gang of carolers. These carolers literally force their way into homes, singing songs, having and talking of traditions. Meanwhile, these individuals get free drink, food, and often destroy the homes of the people that they come in and invade. Unfortunately for some, those particular individuals have been known to trash such wondered objects as gnome versions of Santa Claus and reindeer, among many other things. These heartbreaking stories of these carolers breaking into these homes and singing horrible songs that no one asked them for. They have to be put to an end. They absolutely must be ended. And I'm here to tell you guys, don't let carolers into your homes. Don't let any of them in. Don't let a single caroler into your home. It will be the end of you. Sometimes kids during the holidays can be rambunctious. Some can be just downright cruel. There are some stories of kids just taking it upon themselves to torture their parents. One such kid was told that a face mask would help repair the mother's face. When the mother asked the child, hey, does your face look any better? Does it look good? The kid replied, no, nope, you still look the same. That was brutal and heart-wrenching. Hello? Yes, it's me. You sure that's my car? Yeah, that's my license plate number. Let it score on what? How big of a tree are we? Full grown, got it. And right in the middle. Yeah, got it. Thank you very much for letting me know that fact. Yeah. You have a jolly Christmas yourself. You know, have you ever been at a team party and some drunk idiot goes, Hey, I dare you eat this. Well, apparently someone decided, Hey, I'm going to do that. And the thing they decided to do it with was a ghost pepper chili. This is one of the hottest fucking things alive. This poor soul, not only did he take the dare and he did it honorably, but it changed the way he lived his life for several days. Man couldn't taste food the same way, and it hurt his soul. It was horrible. So remember this the next time you're at a party and someone says, I dare you to eat this. Remember, if it's a ghost pepper chili, make him do it first. Now I'd like to take a moment to cut to my other special correspondent. He is, of course, a jolly individual, and he is known for his love of Christmas and all things trees. My special correspondent that I think you'll all know. What's going on? Hey, Justin. The weather outside is, well, it's not frightful. It's really hot out here bright and sunny and the only white thing this Christmas that is going to have is my shirt. Honestly, it could not be any more disappointing this Christmas. Unless we see... We, we need to check this out over here. Fight! Oh! We see an elf in a tree getting into the Christmas spirit right now. Now in that tree is body blocking that elf. And that, when so that elf is going down, we're out. Fight! We seem to be able to steal me. Oh, and the elf goes for a right hook. That tree is just able to, of course, blow after blow. Oh, this is a... 
This is the kind of Christmas spirit we can get behind. Fatality. And finally, that's how Christmas was created. By an elf destroying a tree. Have you ever received a Christmas list? Have you ever made a Christmas list? Well, some kids have made their own Christmas lists. And there's some pretty shocking things on that list. And I'm not talking about little Timmy's BB gun. Some kids will write down a list of six or seven things, all listing the exact same thing. Others will mention dinosaur, not one, not two, but half a dozen times. We get the point, you like dinosaurs. Maybe you're getting a dinosaur for Christmas. Other people are just greedy. They, don't, they want some money. But you think, nah, they don't want just 50 bucks or 100 bucks. Some kid legitimately asked for $13,000. Now I ask you, that's oddly specific. Why? Why do you need $13,000? I mean, honestly, I, I'd like $13,000 right now. That'd be pretty nice. A thousand percent. You're on the right track, kid. You're on the right track. Another kid asked for nothing but cheese. Now, I know an individual who is obsessed with potatoes. This person eats potatoes all the time, can never get enough. But to want potatoes for Christmas? It's not even this particular individual would do. However, a kid wanted cheese. I hope that kid gets cheese. I hope he gets so much cheese, he doesn't ask for something like that ever again. Because that's ridiculous. Hmm. So, you wake up one morning on Christmas Day, you expect things to go your way, but instead you wake up to find the simple thing that you asked for just to not be there whatsoever. Just the fact that you get a little bit of useless rocks inside my socks is so unfoundly irritating. I know a lot I know the old saying, life gives you lemons, you make lemonade, but I can't crush these coals into diamonds. And all I wanted was just a simple set of mugs. Not even... What the hell am I supposed to do with coal? Am I supposed to go out and barbecue in the rainy weather outside? Thanks a lot, Santa. You're the sole reason in which we bought, in which... The coal industry exists in the first place because you're the only one buying coal and shoving it down our... Oh, you don't even deserve that. No. You go take that coal and I'll tell you where to shove it. Now, I asked Mrs. Claus if she'd come and interview with me. Unfortunately, Mrs. Claus was unavailable to interview with me. However, she did send me a series of responses, which I think you guys would all like to understand. So, without further ado, a rant from Mrs. Claus. Always on this time of year, I always feel so bad, and Santa Claus is always working so hard. He's delivering all the Christmas presents to all the little children to spread his Christmas cheer. Well, this time of year, I have to say, it's always the most sad for me. It just... I always feel a little abandoned because Santa Claus is doing all that he can. And I have to tell you, there's one thing when Santa Claus is always out, it's just very irritating. I just want to see him and my little snookabookums every Christmas and all Christmas Eve. And I tell you, every year he always leaves a mess for me. There's all this mess in the workshop, there's all this stuff. They leave the tinsels over here, and they have the horses over here, and don't even get me started on the gift wrap. The gift wrap is everywhere. I can't tell you the gift wrap. The gift wrap just gives me nightmares. All I ever ask for is one day a year, and you know what that day is? It's my birthday, December 24th. I just want that big old man in my arms. I just want to snuggle him and smell his cooking scented beard. And you know one thing? I do not like how he treats those elves and reindeer. I mean, every, every year, every year he, he just works them poor little elf hands to death. Okay, you see, this is how big an elf hand is. Do you think it takes any time to do anything but that? Yes, it takes a lot of time. And you know what else? 
Oh, don't even get me started on Rudolph, okay? He's got this infection in his nose. That's why it's always red. And it's been like that for 365 years. And he still needs to get it checked out. I'm always just worried about poor Santa Claus. Every year, they always say to leave milk and cookies. But what I actually re recommend is his favorite little... Uh, he actually likes turkey uh, with little lettuce and bacon, okay? He never gets any good meals while so it's just... He always comes home and he doesn't get his proper nutrition. That's why he's so fat. Well, it's a merry fucking Christmas to everyone out there, isn't it? Every time I turn, there is something else fucking up in my entire life. First the, turkey, first the Christmas meal goes bad, then as I head to the car to start it up, Oh look, who decided to slash my tires this morning. Oh boy! When I finally do walk to the store, oh guess what's out of... Guess what we're totally out of at the moment. Oh right, Christmas meal! It's because everyone else decided to procrastinate to the very last moment, as we do everywhere else, to just run out of everything in the store. God knows what else could possibly go wrong at this point. Oh, well, you know what? I spoke too soon. It's starting to rain, starting to get worse outside. Fan freaking tastic. You know what? You know that old song, Santa Grandma Got Ran Over by a Reindeer? Well, I hope a lot of things run me over today after everything in which I've been through today. Merry fucking Christmas! Now, have you ever been to a Christmas party and they tell you, bring something? You know, huh? yeah, kind of like a potluck. This seems like a good idea. Well, have you ever made the mistake of baking a whole bunch of brownies and one of those brownies a batch of pot brownies? Apparently someone did. Apparently someone brought a whole bunch of pot brownies, thinking they were normal brownies, to a party. Everyone partaking in the brownies and everyone got high off their ass. Talk about a way to celebrate the holidays. I didn't remember what happened. It was great! Don't do that. Don't do that at all. I want to cut to our special correspondent who, from what I understand, is in one hell of a storm. What's going on? Hey, Justin. Um I'm here outside, and while the weather outside is frightful, this is one of the worst storms I've ever seen. This entire area is completely soaked to the brim. Every single part of it is just even worse than ever. I just want a white Christmas, not whatever the hell this is! And that's been the weather for today, Justin. Coming to you live from... What the hell? All the lights? What? We lost... Wait, we lost everything? No, 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 you need to find some way to salvage this. This is... My... My ass is on the line with this one. You need to find... I am being calm. Please... Stop telling me to be calm. I lost my car today, and I'm about to lose my job today on top of that. So please, do not tell me to be calm. Sometimes you hear stories about people who do things you probably shouldn't do. Other stories are so heinous, so rude, so crazy that it doesn't make any sense at all. One such story is apparently a man was deciding to surprise his neighbors, make some huge splash at a party. So he decides that he and his buddy are going to go hide in a bush, and they're going to pop out at the right time, surprise everybody, and make a great entrance. Well, unfortunately for this individual, he hops in the bush right after a few people go in. Two hours later, absolutely nobody comes to the party. So he decides, in his infinite wisdom, I'm going to pop out of the window. Just then, the person opens the window and actually punches him through the screen. Talk about making an entrance in the wrong way. That's an ouch, uh-oh. Not good. 
And, yeah, that's the situation. What do you mean, redo all of it? You're, you can't be serious. That, that, that took the entire day. It's practically black outside. And we're due to have power back in an hour, sure, but... Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to save my job. You have a merry, happy holiday yourself. Fucking asshole. You didn't record that, did you? Nope. You know how some offices have an office party, and that office party comes with a raffle? And that raffle sometimes has a trip to some foreign location, Hawaii, Istanbul, apparently. Well, let's say hypothetically, you got a plane trip to, I don't know, London, or Paris, France. And while you're en route, your plane is detoured for some strange reason to some place in Turkey, like Istanbul. Does it ruin your trip, or does it make it a better experience? I leave it up to you with this final story. If you won a raffle trip to anywhere in the world, and it was detoured to a place that is different, to say the least, would it ruin your trip? Would it be the problem in your life? I don't know. I want to find out in the comment section below. Hope you have a happy holidays, folks. See you, everybody.